Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Moonstone Mamas. My name is Devin, and we are picking off from where we left off, part two, 34 pounds. This was the original, um, what, invoice receipt? Um, this is how much I paid for it. This is how much it was with um, shipping and everything. So uh, let's get to it. If you haven't already, uh, feel free to watch my first video where I go over the first half and open the box so you know I'm not padding the box in any way. Found a lot of good stuff. Um, and let's just, just quit yapping and I'll get started on this one. So this looks like it may be something here. It says hand knotted. That's nice. Um, when I'm looking at these box clasps, I check a few locations. I check the back, I check the sides, and if I don't see anything there, then I go over to this piece and I check um, the little the little nubs here on the side to see if I see anything, but it's not. And this is a fairly lightweight piece, so I'm guessing that this may just be um, resin. But it's not ready to come out yet. Okay. This right here is pretty heavy. Um, it's like that illusion wire kind of style. And if you guys can hear, this is glass. So this is a really, really, really pretty one. Um, the only bummer is, is that some of these are chipped. So, um, and some of the uh, paint is coming off, which is a really big bummer. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the craft lot for someone to repurpose. This is one that is silver tone. Go ahead and clasp it. It's like a bib cha-cha style. Kind of reminds me of like a fisherman's net. Resin beads with some like AB coating. First, I was gonna say, at first it looked like a Homsa hand, but it is like a vintage style looking Homsa hand. That is nifty untangled here and if this is your first time here with me thank you so much for hanging out um, I am a jewelry reseller um, I sell on eBay Etsy Mercari and Poshmark and I also have um, weekly uh, jewelry auctions on my YouTube so if you're interested in that kind of thing I'd love to have you subscribe um, I also adore natural stones, so I try to give education, any kind of tidbits that I find out, I love to share. So yeah, let's go ahead and make a mess out of this. This looks like a multi-layer necklace. I guess I should say that if you guys are not interested in seeing dirty hands, this may not be the video for you um, because I tend to get really dirty hands, especially when unboxing something. So uh, here we go. We just have a, um, unfortunately, a tarnished um, lobster claw here and then just like a pendant, which looks like it may have just a smidge of verdigris on it. It is the green. Um, it's like jewelry mold. Um, if, you know caution word to the wise if you stick something like this next to something that doesn't have verdigris on it uh chances are you know it's it's gonna leak over onto something else that wasn't that didn't have verdigris on it in the beginning so it's definitely something to be mindful of i've heard that ketchup or any kind of acidic substance can get it out um sort of you know, hot water, dish soap, something along those lines. But um, when I see something like this that's just like silver tone, I tend to just chuck it in the bin. This right here is absolutely crazy. This I think is a belt. Or something. Look at that. It's missing a rhinestone. That's going to go in the craft for right now. <laughs> and get to chucking away. All right. So it looks like we unboxed one of these in the last time. Um, the last box, it had a hang tag. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. Should be hard to find. The 
this one right here. So these are pretty similar. I'll have to do some comps and research on these. It had, um, had a hang tag on it that now I'm having a hard time finding. Oh, right here. Okay, this one. There it is. And then the back side says Graziano. Don't check that out. I don't know everything about every single jewelry brand, um, but I can tell you is I'm always down to learn. Okay, so this is one that is magnetic, but golly gee, it is not in the best shape. Um, this looks like it's like a nautical kind of style. And it's like a bracelet. It's definitely nautical. Um, definitely one that I'm going to chuck in the craft lot. Someone can repurpose those, um, gosh, these charms, those mother of pearl spots. And if anyone's interested, I have, um, had people email me and ask me for a craft lot. Love to make one for you. Um, just let me know in and around what you're kind of looking for and how big you'd like the box and I can send it over to you. Um, okay. This is just a... It's a really lightweight, bendable, this is going to go in the bin, um, but this is definitely not something that I would resell. If it won't make the shipping from me to Goodwill, then most likely it won't make it to the shipping from me to you. So that's what I tend to think about when I'm doing this. So this happens to have a hang tag. This one has an S on it, just an S. It has like a hook clasp. And it looks pretty long. Um, so it's interesting. It's pretty, but I have no clue what S is. So maybe an artisan, maybe something. If someone wants to let me know in the comments down below. And this is just bag one of two. We haven't even really scratched the surface on it. Um, okay, this is a Napier. And it looks like it's in pretty good condition. It has kind of like that moon glow kind of look to it. It's really nice. The purple and gold are really complementary colors. Clamper. And someone had this listed for $8. This is just like a gold tone clamper. I always want to check the inside to see if course if there's any wear and then you want to check like the inside here on the hinge to see if there's any kind of maker mark or anything um any kind of indication of origin but this is just a gold tone costume um and this one right here looks like it says LA I always check the inside of the bracelet and see if there's anything this is one of those that just opens just like this like a hook and unfortunately you can kind of see that there is a smidge bit of wear on here and on here, something I'm going to stick in the craft lot. All right, of course, I'm just trying to grab the stuff that's easy to pull out. It looks like we may have a rosary. Gorgeous. When I first started my jewelry journey, I was really scared to sell. Really scared to sell rosaries um, because I didn't want to offend anybody. But uh, upon further inspection and research, uh, people tend to collect rosaries, uh, even if they don't, you know, um, they don't fall under that religious category. Um, but this is a really, really, really pretty one. Um, these are just resin beads, um, but the colors are just absolutely stunning. Um, and you always have to admire the rosary. So beautiful. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Yes. Oh, bummer. Okay, so um, this does have like a hang tag of a heart, um, but some of the enamel has come out of the yin yang. Um, so unfortunately, this is one that I'm going to chuck. This looks like it is a stretch piece. Of course, when I find a stretch, I go ahead and flip it over and I check the inside to see if there's any kind of wear on it or anything. And this looks like it's in good shape. I always do this too because I like to see if there how much give is on the bracelet. If there's really a lot of sag then I know uh, maybe it's time to retire the piece. 
This is a really pretty one. Um, unfortunately, you can kind of see a little bit of what I was talking about. This has a little bit of verdigris on it and a bit of wear on it. This may be a piece, um, I can tell you that it's not vintage because it has a lobster claw clasp, but it's a dainty, really pretty um, gold tone and silver tone piece. It would lay really gorgeous on the neck. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it off to the side and see if it survives the wash. Wowie zowie, let's look at this. Another piece attached to it. Um, this has a T and from my experience, this T is a Talbert's. Um, this is a very uh, mod, in my opinion. Hecka cool. Um, just resin. And then you have some faceted beads with an AB coating in here. Uh, love this. And these, uh, these pieces can go right here as well. This is a fun one. All right, let's see what else we got here. It seems like we may have another belt, judging by how long this thing is. This is a belt. You know, I've not had good luck reselling belts that I've gotten from uh, jewelry bags. Um, but yeah, this right here to me is like a garment hook. So to me, this is a belt. But what I am going to do is stick this in the craft lot because maybe someone can utilize these crowns or charms or something. This is one. Um, really pretty it's got some cat's eye beads on here the difference i've found between the moon glow and the cat's eye is the cat's eye has like a definitive line it's definitely like a saturn rings the lines go up and down or side to side moon glow kind of has that spot on it it is like here let me show you the other one um see this how it's more of like a round kind of look to it um more round other than a line so this one's more cat's eye and this one unfortunately you have a lot of missing rhinestones on here this is a really nice red white and blue uh bracelet but it's just seen better days so crap out of those no this one is one of the reasons i was saying definitely don't pull hard um this has a spring ring clasp um it is a very dainty one i'm gonna go ahead and give this a look over with my magnet only what looks like that is picking up on it which isn't um, uncommon um, to have just the spring mechanism be magnetic so I'm going to go ahead and give this one a test put it in the test file all right and so here is what looks like a bracelet um, and of course right off the bat what I'm seeing is wear on these beads um, jewelry can't last forever um, but um, maybe someone can repurpose um, something from this. So I'm going to put this in the craft lot. This is a bangle. Oh, cute button. Oh, how cute. Um, this does have a double lobster. Um, but it's got the cutest little buttons on here. It looks like there's a little bit of give here. Maybe someone made this or something. I'm going to go ahead and stick this one in the craft lot. See what else you can easily pull out of here. Ooh, this is so pretty. If you guys didn't know, I am a mom of two, so you will hear kid noises. Um, this one is super pretty. I'm gonna see if this has, oh, okay, so Lucky Brand uh, usually is indicated by a four leaf clover. Um, there's a lot of wear on this one. I don't know if that is the kind of um, distressed look that they were going for, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a wash. Um, this is definitely one that I would put on my eBay as opposed to on my Etsy. So this is a fun one, super exciting, and it does look like there are some natural stones on here as well, so that's cool. Awesome find. Okay. Really pretty. I oftentimes call this like fopal, like faux opal, but this is like a foiled look on it. Um, really pretty, however. Um, I always check the back of things. There is a lot of wear on here. Uh, there's a lot of wear right here. Um, so this is definitely something that I will put in the craft lot. Maybe someone can um, disconnect this from this and turn these into single earrings. You never know. 
Okay, okay, I've had a necklace like this before. It's so funny to be in this, uh, let's say the game, it's not really, um, but to be doing this for a little bit to get doubles, so that's always so exciting. Um, it is a Ann Taylor. Um, okay, but it's not ready to come out yet. This one, I think, is ready to come out. Just a little unhook, unhook, and, and it's really good that I did so because I can see right here that these two are missing. This is a Charming Charlie. Um, I am going to go ahead and put this one in the craft lot because someone could take these out and reutilize the rhinestones. So not bad considering that this is a growing pile of craft, but um, anything and everything could be turned into resale. So um, don't throw anything away unless it's garbage. <laughs> This is a glass piece right here. This looks like a really pretty art glass. It is strung on illusion wire, um, and it does look like it's got a little bit of tarnish on these, um, but I don't know if that is the aged bronze kind of look that they're going for. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and see if it survives the wash. A lot of really fun stuff in here. So far, I am not mad about it. We have like a gun metal in color. Um, uh, like choker style very pretty and there we go maybe something that i would hi yo hi hi okay so we have like a braided silver tone um chain on here this is a little bit heavier than normal um, I would say that maybe there's like a loose pendant in here somewhere that maybe this has came off of. So put this off to the side and see if I can't find that pendant. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, so uh, tritone jewelry tends to sell really well for me, especially on Etsy. Um, this is like a brutalist kind of style, something that's a little bit more edgy, rough on the corners. Um, so this is definitely a fun one. Um, I find the more patina and the more fun aged color and discoloration to these cuffs, the better sometimes on resale, so. All right, so here is another one that even though it is black in color, you can see that the copper is coming through. The beads in front are stunning, gorgeous, and catch the light, but unfortunately why I check the underside is because this has a lot of worn on it. Yummy! Okay. Anything is possible. We have an NHQ on here. I'm going to check the inside. Um... I'm going to go ahead and change the lighting on here because I think that's kind of casting like an orange hue to it. I'm going to go ahead and check out what that label means. This is, it feels pretty lightweight like it could be aluminum. This looks like maybe an artisan made, but this is cool and funky and fun. Apparently whatever he is eating is super yummy. <laughs> All right, and then we have like a candy cane looking thing here. It's kind of interesting to me because you have like bold tone up until this point and then it's uh, red and white. So I don't really know too much about that, but uh, always check your findings. You never know. All right, more bangles. Oh, how cute. And a little, this is glass. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe I'm not. Can this open? Gosh, if it opens, I'm gonna freak out. Oop. I don't think it does. It's, it's cute. It looks like it could, though. I don't want to break it either. That is cute. Just a gold tone little apple. Another bangle. It's kind of distressed. I'm gonna jump that in the bin. This one. I was going to check the inside. This is another Monet bangle. I had one in the other um, video before this one, so I might group them together and sell them as a lot. Very exciting stuff. We have a JNY Jones New York. Not too sure about that. Don't think I've ever heard of that brand before. Um, but it just looks like we have 
similar to one that we found earlier. Right. Ooh, I love this color. Oh, but unfortunately, the beads. Bummer, I'm gonna put this in the craft block. Bottom is my favorite, we're almost there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look at this guy. This looks like a wraparound bracelet. It's a really nice satiny finish to this gold tone. Um, it doesn't, it has like kind of like a faux feel to fur checking the inside underneath the clasp. It doesn't appear to have any kind of markings. So it's nice, no? This feels pretty cold. Something that I may have had before previously. It looks like it's like an obsidian or an agate, quite possibly, but these are natural stones and really nice. All right, this, my goodness, um, this, wood yeah look at that it's wood it's broken that's crazy the heart's broken yummy yummy oh cool oh this so this is bourbon and bow ties that b and b is what you're looking for for the bourbon and bow ties um established in 2013 very cool might put those in a lot. All right, this looks like a bracelet, perhaps. Really pretty coin. I love the sound, the jingle jangle. It could be like, um, what is that? Body, belly dancing. <laughs> Hello, welcome, gosh. All right, so again, this is another one. Super duper bummer. Check out the back. You can see lots of wear on that. Not the best. This is one that I don't even think these little beads can be salvaged, so I'm going to go ahead and jump this one. All right, so we have like a crucifix on here, um, but it's just like a necklace, like a silver tone. There's that. And this one's very, oh, first glance, I was like, oh, it's very boho, but checking this out, like a faux cinnabar kind of look, it almost looks Asian inspired. It's like an maybe oriental of some sorts. That's really beautiful. I'm gonna do a little bit more research on that guy. This is another wood piece. You just want to check the back of each element to see if there's any kind of maker's mark or any kind of indication of origin. And it doesn't appear so. It's just a necklace. Okay. The bottom here, I might have to show this to my mom. My mom loves bangles, especially the black and white ones. There's something written on the inside of this one. I want to figure that out. Drive me nuts. Avenue? Sax. Sax with Avenue? <laughs> Never had anything like that before. Um, but these um, spots are inset, which is really cool. I'm uh, going to go ahead and give that a wash. See how that comps out. All right, here we go. The nitty gritty, the fun stuff. Let's go. Let's get to untangling. See if we can get this second box done in two, or this first bag done in uh, two episodes. Okay. Resin beaded. Have a lots of wear here and here. I'm going to go ahead and jump this. This one is broken, unfortunately easily repaired if I have time. This is a, a diamond, I believe dye diamond um, charm bracelet. Not sure what these are though. Interesting. Yes, 
little kids um, peace sign. <laughs> Bracelet. Bangle. Craft lot. Have a really shiny. It says Premier Designs on here. And it is a, oh, it's stiff. I think it's broken or pretend or something. So it doesn't know. <laughs> Maybe it's pretend, but it's really stuck. Oh, there it is. Maybe it's just really hard to do. But it's stiff. It's very, very silver tone, though. Nice. Very silver tone. Okay. Um, this is a vintage piece by the looks of it. Spring ring clasp. Definitely see if I can get my mom to help me age this one. As a hang tag. I think this Vera Wang. I'm not sure. Um, but I am going to go ahead and stick this one in the craft lot because this could just be fixed if you have a, um, a jump ring. Sometimes I, I don't have the time to go through each and every piece to fix them. So I like to put some stuff in the craft lot. This is a seed bead, but it fortunately it is broken. You could see here that one in the craft lot. Some of the beads have already come off of that one as well. Some beads up. That's okay, you can share. This is a silver tone bangle. Again, always check your bangles. You never know what could be lurking as a silver bangle. Had some good luck in the past. This is a cute one here. Hopefully, it has all of its. Sometimes it's just like one piece that causes all of the jumble up sometimes. And when I mean jumble up, I mean not. Okay, so this is a cute one. It has like a, just a little hook here. Very sparkly. <laughs> this appears to be vintage. It does have a hook clasp. And it has like a V style with your alternating black and white rhinestones up to here. And then this is really pretty. I'm going to put that one off to the side. I may lift that one as well. And this. Silver tone. You do have the glass, like a sea glass, like frosted um, with a toggle. Looks kind of artisan in my opinion. Ooh, okay. This looks like it could be vintage as well. A lot of goodies so far in this bag. Yeah, we do have the hook clasp here. This may be Bakelite. Ooh, it looks like this is a necklace. I thought it might have been a bracelet. Really pretty. You have the alternating more turquoise um, greeny and more bluey of that. But it looks like it might have been repaired at, repaired at one time. Go ahead and further look at this later. This is a beautiful. You have your beautiful abalone inlay. This is, again, another um, four-leaf clover. This is a Lucky brand. Really pretty. I see a locket. And then this is, this is my secret. I shake it out. This one's also a Lucky Brand, a bit heavy. A uh, really nice Lucky Brand lot. Um, this does have a little bit of wear to it. Again, I don't know if they were going for that distressed look or whatever the case may be, but I'm definitely gonna wash this and give this a look-see and I may just lot it up 
with the other ones and sell it as a group. Have um, a few bangles here. You can see the seam bangle. Again, we have a costume piece. Little tangled up in it itself. This was one that I was looking at earlier. It seems to have a little bit of a knot in a couple of places, um, but it looks like it might be an Avon. Yeah, there's the Avon. Bangle. Okay, so this says R. G R G R J. Okay, so this one says R J G C N. So I may end up doing some research about this and seeing if I can't lot the rest of those up with it. This is one of those, um, like, what do they call these? Tricks, trickster, or like. Anyways, they're all they're all together. <laughs> are really pretty and these just look like resin they're faceted they're made they have like little spreckles on them made to look like natural stone it's pretty definitely a statement sounds like a mess behind me kids are just playing with their toys Here is this one right here. Seed beads. These colors are really pretty. You have like a corally, a pale green, and more of like a blushy pink kind of color. This one's a broken one. It's really broken actually. What a bummer. There's the other side of it. It was a White House black market. Unfortunately, I believe it's beyond my repair abilities. Really nice. Um, you have a lobster claw clasp here. I'm looking on the underside and see if I see any wear, and I don't. Dog? 